Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. This time it's not a coin video, it's a banknote video. And this time we're updating the Scottish banknote album. That's right folks, it's about time that I updated this bad boy. I've got my Scottish banknote album out and I'm going to start off with pounds. Then fives, tens, twenties, fifties. I don't have any hundreds to update because I'm skint. You know how it is, Christmas and minimum wage and hungry. <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, right. I want to do, I've got some extra pages as well. I've got some of these kicking about, so I may have to use a few of them just to update. I've been trying to sort things out ahead of the video. Oh, let's get this open. Move a couple of things around. I've got a space here for this one pound note, and this one pound note is a Clydesdale Bank Limited one pound from 1965. I know I'm going to get into trouble for handling it, but it's my notes. I'll I'll bungle this if I want. You may have seen this in a previous PO Box video. It's the one with the Clyde Shipyard on it. It's really cool. I'll pop that into there. That's really nice. So that's the only one pound note that I've got to update. It's time to move on to the five pound notes. Now, I've got quite a few of these. I've got a couple of Ryder Cup ones. And I've got a couple of older ones. Ryder Cup one, this one here, I've got two. I've got one that came with a certificate of authenticity and I've got one that actually has the pack with everything in it as well. I shall pair this with, uh, I should pair this. I already have one of these inside, but I'll keep it inside this one for safekeeping. That way I can put my note. It is a lovely note. Look at that. It's kind of like a first kind of what polymers use, the first polymer. It's kind of, does have that paper quality, but it feels more polymer than paper. Yeah, so, I think it is polymer. There we go, anyway. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll keep that. I've got to go back a couple of pages. And I have two more here. There's an original Bank of Scotland. Now, I was in a bit of a quandary because I thought, hmm, do I? Do these sections bank by bank, or have them as they are, ones, fives, tens, twenties, etc. And I've, I was wondering, it's a lot of mucking about, isn't it? Now these two here, got to put away safely. The next one is ten pounds. So I'll put this in order of date. This is 1972, and this one is 1983. So I'll pop this one in the top one. Just like so. And, oh. Put this one in as well. I shall keep the information. Don't think I've had this out. Maybe I did have it out of the sleeve. There's the reverse. Colleen Castle. There we go. And there's a reverse of the other Bank of Scotland one as well. That's just been recently in a video too. All I need now is a, a old school Clydesdale to join the group. But until then, this will just sit there. And... Yeah. I think that... Oh no, that re what remains to be done is this. Yes, that's right. I shall figure my own head if I didn't have it attached. Like I said... I already have one of these in here, but I'm going to pop this one in here too. I've got this, this. Let's pop this in safe. Come on, be nice. <laughs> there we go. It's a bit big, but it will go into this little perspex thing, this sleeve, just like so. Excuse me. Don't worry, it's not COVID. 
And quickly is we've got ten pound notes to do now. Now I may have to get a page to add in. I have this polymer, this paper. Now the polymer I think I already have I definitely have already had this, but the number I'm checking the number I have is lower. So as much as I like this one, I'll keep this as a trade. As for the £10 note, let's go back a couple of ones. There we are. BT0, BT5. So this one is another trade. Excellent. Now this one, old school Bank of Scotland, £10. I'm going to have to find a home for it. Which means... Getting the sleeve, I think. Also could mean I may need to find an old RBS. Ten pound note to match the period, the time period. So I shall pop this one like so. What year is this? 1987, which works out just around about the time of this one. Oh, static's got there. Pop this into here. I'm definitely going to need. To get myself the RBS version of this. Is this sealed? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's be careful when I take this out. Now this is a circulated one, but It's more for completing the sets, I think. That means I've got a note from each era that I was alive. Okay, maybe have some of it was before I was alive as well, but it's not my fault they're part of the same sets. So just get that RBS one to go in here, and that's magic. So more updating to do. Now, as for the 20s, I'm pretty sure I've got these. The only one I'll be adding really is this one. I may have to add it to the beginning of this section as well. I'm definitely going to need RBS and possibly a, a Clydesdale from that same era too. I keep picking up the wrong one. So let's get this one. Quite small, isn't it? I could have got away with a smaller note, I think. That's okay. There we go. I think I may chop and change these pages over time because things change, things update. I may get the RBS one and I might find an older Clydesdale one than that. This one's from 1992, and these are from 1997, 94, oh sorry, that's 94. So kind of roughly the same era, but there are ones beforehand. So yes, as for the other ones, I'm pretty sure I do not need any of these. Clydesdale Exchange, RBS, and Clydesdale Exchange. Yes, I have the Commonwealth, I have the UK Architecture, I already have two exchange now, what's codes on these, ADD, ADR, I think these are in better condition, I think I'll keep the better condition ones, uh, there's the, the fancy Bannockburn one. Old school 20 Bank of Scotland. I need to find a RBS one to fill that missing gap. And here we go. So many different variants. And I've already got a couple of these ones. This is 1601 and this is 04. So even though that's got a lower number, I'm not so sure. It does look in better condition. 
It's a bit of a blotch. It isn't way better cleaner, isn't it? 107. Right. I want to take a punt. Both of these look in pretty sour condition, don't they? I think this one has a crease, or is that no? Let's take them both out and compare. Let's compare them all. Compare the banknote.com. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely cleaner. That's definitely cleaner than them two as well, but it's got crease down the middle. That's what I'm not happy with. Right. It's got crease down the middle. So does that. Okay, I think maybe what I'll do, because I'm not happy, I may just put them all in. Yeah. It's either that or... Because that's got marks on it. That's got a blotch on it on the side. Oh, that's got a blotch on it too. That's probably why I haven't put them in. They are in better condition, but they've got blotches on them. Okay. I want to take a chance and swap them both over. The blotch. Maybe a thing, but um, it could be a punt that I maybe regret later. We shall see. We shall see, shall we? I'm going to compromise. I'm going to pop them all in. And perhaps someone watching this video maybe needs one of these notes and I shall swap them over. Either that or keep them for trades. There we go. It's a little bit of a compromise. Now the exchange notes, they're okay. Keep them for trades. I could have done the same with that as I did with the other one. I may well change my mind and still do that, but I think I've ran out of the... Yeah, I think I've ran out of the things for two petitions, like so. Ooh. Millennium one set. Very nice. Now, this old school bank of Scotland. I've got a gap here. Now, reason I'm keeping a third one of these, this one's got David Thorburn, this one's got uh, I kind of mind, but it's, they're all different cashiers. So if I have all three with all three cashiers, then that's got to be a good collection, surely. There we go. Now these ones here, they're uncirculated. I've tried to get as low numbers as possible, but I'm going to keep them uncirculated and away inside so that concludes the video a little bit of updating a little bit more to find such as an rbs tenor such as an rbs 20 maybe a wee trip to the misters on the cards but, uh, yeah anyway do you have any cool scottish banknotes do you have any cool banknotes full stop you know It'd be nice to hear from you put in the comments I've got another banknote video to top up, which is for Territories and Bank of England, and I have a pile of them all sat here. So here you go. That's something to look forward to. Anyway, like I say, if you're having a hunt, have a happy one. Don't forget, check your change, check your wallets for banknotes you might not know you have. Hey, send them to me. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm off there now. Take care, everyone, and... By the time you hear this, this will probably be 2022, or not. If not, have a happy Hogmanay. If it is, have a happy new year. Hope you have a good one.